A lot of scientists, just like a lot of people, secretly wish they were rock stars. But really, how hard could it be? Our love was like a supernova in the nebula of my soul. But now I find your heart is just a big black hole. Well, maybe it's harder than it looks. But in this episode's profile, you'll meet a scientist who has a much better shot at becoming a real rock star. Don't believe me? Check this out. Thirty-two-year-old Pardis Sabeti is a member of the rock band Thousand Days. The deal and the heat and the lights all over. Singer, bass player, and songwriter. She's a rocker by night. Come morning, Pardis plays a different tune. I'm a geneticist with an interest in infectious disease. This is her stage by day, complete with its own dressing room, and of course, her instrument of choice. In 2001, Pardis used her instrument to make a major breakthrough in genetics. She was combing through the human genome trying to track natural selection. Well, the process of natural selection is one of the most fundamental driving forces of evolution. I'm looking for all the things that are beneficial in the human genome. Everything that I do is based on a very simple principle. Things that are beneficial will spread through populations very quickly. Think of it this way. In natural selection, our DNA, our internal blueprint, constantly mutates and some of those changes help us to survive in our given environment. Those beneficial changes will be the ones that get passed down to future generations. If an advantageous mutation should occur, something that might protect you against a disease, for example, you'll leave more offspring. And your offspring will leave more offspring. And sometimes, a genetic mutation will allow you to take advantage of a new source of food. For example, cow's milk. Thousands of years ago, most adults couldn't drink milk without getting sick. But after cows were introduced to Europe, people with a particular mutation that allowed them to drink milk safely could take advantage of this new food. They had a better chance of survival and passed that milk drinking gene on to the next generation. Today, 80% of European adults can drink milk. That's a genetic brush fire. Pardis figured out how to spot brush fires like these in a genome she came up with an algorithm to compare genetic codes among hundreds of different people around the world and identify the genes that have become very common very fast. A sure sign of natural selection at work. The cool thing about what Pardis did was figure out what to look for in the first place, figure out how to sift the haystack to find the needles. This idea has created a little brush fire of its own. And Pardis's idea has been picked up by many, many groups now. It's now considered a routine tool for scanning the human genome to understand evolution. Pardis is a graduate of MIT and the Harvard Medical School. In one year, she received not only a seven-figure research grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, but an honorable mention in Billboard's World Song Competition. A female rocker who was born in Iran and is now a genetics professor at Harvard. Wait, let me repeat that. A female rocker who was born in Iran and is now a genetics professor at Harvard. <laughs> Pardis is her very own mix of a new generation's sensibilities with the old generation's credentials. If you do what you love, things happen fast. And I think that I don't manage my time well. I don't, I don't think I do anything special. It's just I stick around things that I love. She learned that at an early age. OK, maybe not this early. But her biggest lessons in life came from a unique family experience. When Pardis was only two years old, her family was forced to leave their home in Iran because of the revolution. They found refuge in the United States 
but they had lost everything. You establish a life in one country and then you get to a new country and it's sort of like start over, learn a new language and get going. So it took a while. All of this uncertainty meant that throughout her life, there were only two things Pardis could count on, herself and her family. And we were always together, which was great. And so then you felt safe. Parisa is Pardis's older sister, appointed playmate, and caregiver since birth. In the moment that my sister came home, my mom made a big effort to say, this is your sister, take care of your sister. The two of us were always very, very close. After her family finally got its new life in America on track, Pardis was in the ninth grade when her father was in a car accident that nearly killed him. He shattered both of his legs. It was an 18-hour operation to put piece his legs back together. Months and months and months in the hospital. They really didn't think he'd ever walk again. Her father made a full recovery, but this experience changed Pardis's life. She apprenticed with the doctor who performed the operation, which led to her decision to study medicine. And her father's example provided a lifelong lesson. Yeah, as long as I have a heartbeat, I'm fine. So I just do what I love and I do it the best that I can. And if it all goes away, I'll just start over. You get this added drive because life is so precious. These days, Pardis has taken up the challenge of fighting malaria, a disease that infects at least 300 million and kills one to two million people each year. She's traveled to Africa to study how the malaria parasite interacts with its human hosts. And just like the human genome, the genome of this parasite, spread by mosquitoes, has now been mapped. Pardis is searching its genome for signs of natural selection in the hopes of understanding how this parasite develops resistance to the drugs we use to fight it. The same types of methods I use to study what are the things beneficial in humans that allow it to continue to survive um, and stay on this earth, we can do the same thing with malaria. This approach that Pardis is using is bound to lead to breakthroughs. What's wonderful is Pardis has no boundaries about what she'd like to do, what she's interested in doing. Her problem will be how to choose which of those she can fit into a 24-hour day. And while the future is anybody's guess, Pardis insists she's a scientist through and through. As she says, it's much cooler than being a rock star. You get these moments of thrill. There you are at 3 in the morning and you know something about how we evolved that nobody else in the world knows. It's a thrill of discovery. You make this breakthrough and you find something. It's this wonderful, wonderful scavenger hunt when you got to the end. Like, it's just so great to be a scientist. As I am.